Hello and welcome to MJ Studies. Today we will discuss about server access login feature in AWS. What is server access login, why we use these and how we use these. We will see all these things in our video. So what is server access login? Server access login provides detailed records for the requests that are made to an Amazon S3 bucket. Server access logs are useful for many applications. For example, access log information can be useful in security and access audits. It can also help you learn about your customer base and understand your Amazon S3 build. By default, Amazon S3 doesn't collect server access logs. When you enable a login, Amazon S3 delivers access logs for a source bucket to a target bucket. That you choose the target bucket must be in the same AWS region and AWS account as the source bucket and must not have a default retention period configuration. An access log record contains details about the request that are made to a bucket. This information can include the request type, the resources that are specified in the request, and the time and date that are that the request will process. So, in the access server, in the server access logging feature, uh, we have two buckets. One is the target bucket, which takes our, all the logs, which takes the logs uh, from the uh, our parent bucket from our uh, main bucket, whatsoever activity we perform in our main bucket, it uh, stores the logs of that uh, activities. Either we upload the file, either we delete the file, either we uh, open any file, either we access any file by the S3 URL. We can perform any of the activity with our parent bucket, and then it will uh, automatically log the details in the uh, log bucket which we created as a target bucket. So we'll see how we can perform this activity in the uh, S3. So uh, as you know, we created the MJ study one, two, three for our main bucket uh, in our previous videos. If you don't have idea how we can create buckets and how we can configure buckets, feel, uh, please check in the I button. I give the, that video link in the I button. So please check this. And with the, uh, with the same configuration, I created the uh, one more bucket log MJ study one, two, three, four. So here uh, we'll log our main buckets logs. So to uh, configure the logging, uh, log feature access log feature what we need to do we need to do go to our uh, object bucket files where we store our files where we upload our files we need to go to that file uh, that bucket in the properties in the property when you store scroll down a little bit down you will found server access login feature in as you know i already enabled it but yeah uh, i disable it and show you that what we need to do while enabling it so just scroll down and we'll enable the server access log yeah just enable it yeah. when we enable it shows us an alert message that uh, when you enable X server access logging the s3 console automatically updates your bucket policy to include access to the s3 log delivery group so it it will automatically update the target but bucket policies according to the poly, uh, according to access server login feature so now we'll select the log mj study one two three four bucket uh, as our target bucket where we store our logs so we select that and just save changes. When we click on save changes, it says a successfully edited server access login feature. Now, uh, as you see, there is no file uh, here in the in our main bucket and in our log log bucket. You can check that there is no file. There is no previous files are present over here. So to check this, uh, uh, to come up with the logs, uh, to check the that the server access log is enabled or not enabled what we need to do we need to uh, upload the files so to upload the file you know uh, the steps that how we can upload the files so just upload a file and we'll upload the files we'll upload this image it's uploading yeah it's uploaded successfully now we'll upload uh, more images more files we'll uh, add file we'll add desktop file uh, index.html we'll add index.html now we'll just refresh it now what i can do i just delete this uh, uh, I, I uploaded one more file one more image i upload uh, from the pictures yeah i can upload this image also just upload it yeah yeah as you see that we uploaded two images and one uh, html file we can access this html file we can change the permission and access this file And now the permission is changes to access this file we have object URL 
we can just go and check for the access yeah now we can access this file now we just go to buckets just refresh this thing and yeah and now here just refresh this thing as you know uh, that when you enable when we enable server access logging feature then it will take uh, around one to two hours to update the logs for the initial for the initial time for the first time when we upload the log so i'll post my video and come up when uh, the when the uh, files are uh, when the logs are created and the files are uh, just to come in the log log uh, bucket so when the logs are come in the log bucket i'll uh, take a break up till that uh, before that what i do i just delete the uh, delete one file so that uh, we have uh, more logs to come up yeah so yeah i delete permanently delete this image yeah okay so here yeah now they we have we have two uh, two files and we have two buckets in this bucket will wait uh, around one to two hours uh, once the logs are created i'll restart my video and come up with you that what's uh, inside the logs and what uh, is in the logs so i'll wait pause my video hello so after a uh, little bit of around 45 to 50 minutes uh, we received some logs so we'll check in the uh, log bucket as you know as you see that we are receiving uh, this much amount of logs so uh, how we can see the logs will open uh, any of the log we just open this log this is the first one first log so uh, here you found the details of the bucket and the size of the log uh, with what is the size of the log to access the log will uh, using this url but yeah before using this url if you are uh, as we know that our uh, bucket is not enabled with public access so we'll need to edit the the resource edit the resource to access the uh, access the resource publicly so to do this now we uh, change the permission now just click uh, copy the url and just paste it over here now you see that here we come up with the log that mj study one two three four uh, with this user and has uh, access this user and uh, do some activity so by this you can check that uh, here the logs are maintained and we now what we do we'll recently do any of the job we'll see the latest one we'll see latest so yeah here uh, at uh, 2051 you found the latest one so what we do we'll upload some files in the bucket so whatsoever activity is running in the bucket uh, you can check for the uh, you can uh, just log that activity will upload the file yeah file uh, so we'll upload uh, uh, is this file will upload it now as you see that the timing uh, it's a 105.1 kb file and now we'll upload this file now, yeah we'll success we are successfully uploaded this file at the time uh, 8 o'clock and 20 o'clock and 51 minutes now we'll check the log for this file as you see the file comes uh, over here at the uh, 20 o'clock and 51 minutes now we'll check for the log in the bucket uh, log bucket just scroll down and here we see that there are logs for the same time we'll see the logs so yeah here you see the logs uh, for this so uh, content plain text uh, so yeah you can check for the log uh, by just going to this url yeah but before that what we need to do we need to change for the permission now just change for the permission to read only and yeah, now just copy this and now paste this so yeah here you found it uh, we have uh, just uploaded the files and all those you can find the logs over here logs uh, for uh, the details what activity you perform at that time and who performed those activities so you can found the user username over here the im username and all those details over here so by this so yeah, by this uh, you can get the uh, information about the uh, locks and all those informations so uh, by this video you can uh, easily understand that how we can uh, just uh, do uh, server uh, server access login feature we how we can enable server access login feature in our bucket in our uh, parent bucket uh, and how we can just uh, update our logs in our uh, target bucket and all those things so yeah thank you for watching this video and if you have any doubt feel free to comment below please like share and subscribe mj study goodbye